they'll be calling you a radical i'm here in smogden utah so a lot to talk about fukushima and so here i'll try to place can't find my tripod i don't know where the hell it's at now but anyway so we'll just keep going you know organic do what i gotta do there we go there we go that's the lightning right there so it's not the idea to paint the soup can or it is the idea to paint the soup can but what well, then you got to paint the fucking soup can so the activist community the so-called set they incredibly betrayed us i like how you're still running to Keldicott. you're still running to busby when you're going to learn how they work for the other side they're i mean beyond profiteers they're funded by the other side they're pathetic i mean it's an absolute joke you know helen told me right to my face you know, and everybody says, oh, hell, and then she denies all this stuff, right? Everyone, what, do I need to show you the emails? Do I, need, I mean, I had somebody call me up, some vlogger that I invented, you know, which I invented so many of this. I'm the only one that stayed on this from the beginning, from day one. You know, people took breaks, whatever. You know, the vloggers, the spin arts, which that's been important work. You know, come on. You know, Christina, you know, Jan, I mean, they've done good work. It's been, but look, I'm an activist, you know. I mean, I do the work. So this dog and pony show off Fukushima, I said it, I screamed it right here. I screamed it all over that, look, these frogs will be boiled nicely. It just shows you how contemporized the freaking box is done. Television, whatever. I am, look, simply, Tepco is a patsy. Tepco's not running this show. Hello, the frogs have been boiled nicely. You still have to have Fox News and mainstream media and so-called alternative media. And you think about all the spin doctors that are out there spinning videos. Fox flag, <laughs> you know, Fukushima. <laughs> How would they know? In their basement? Regurgitating? You know, go see, you know, see a psychiatrist, seriously. So it just shows you how posture, the whole, I mean, you know how many teeny, teeny, tiny people out of seven billion actually know? So this is important. China issued last Sunday a travel warning for their people in Japan. They're like, look, which this is a, look, Taiwan, South Korea, there's a lot of incredible pressure from the international community, the UN, IAEA. Now remember, I was detained inside the UN going on the public tour before I am like, what do you, I can go on the public tour. I've done everything proper. No, not you're not. You know, my little box protest. The only one that does this work, you know, grassroots, because I mean, that's the way it's gotta be right down to the, it's gonna give you cancer. I mean, wild full of cancer. What an incredible story, but look at the machine, the trolls, the freaking PR machines that went after me, attacked me, how outrageous. And, you know, I do this with private funding, you know, a little bit, and thank you for everybody who has private funded this historical work. They have all the money, they do nothing. Look, they put a lot of pressure on these different countries, including Russia, if you claim all that, to bring, to block the food ban. They're like, fuck you. They all know, the whole world knows, including you in the United States, you just, because there's no logical reason. The American populace has been that, po Orwell couldn't make this shit up. So now the dog and pony show, they're multiple robots. Now think about this, I want you to think about this, the cleanup. For instance, right here at Utah, I go to the Utah media, KSL, Deseret News, all of them, Standard Examiner, freaking Tribune, every one of them, no one will mention the word Fukushima. Then four or five years later at the fraud, they mention a Utah company gets a contract to help clean up Fukushima. I mean, I thought Fukushima didn't exist. I thought it was like this. But now they'll report it. The same people that have profited off the catastrophe that created the catastrophe are now profiting off the catastrophe because it's about the subsidy. The UN, the biggest welfare queen. Do you think the food subsidies, you know, dairy subsidies are up, which they are obscene, disgusting, create this false freaking reality that we live in. You know, think about the nuclear crime syndicate. This is a, I mean, so robot after robot after robot, you know how much money you, and then you say, oh, that's Japan. No, 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 no. You, Japan is the 51st state, y'all to buy the sea. You, the American taxpayer, are paying for this like you always do. And Trump's gonna continue? Yes, I mean, come on. Trump is really exposing, I mean, whoa. I mean, he thinks he's still in a reality TV show. I mean, the stuff he spouts off and spews is beyond ridiculous. He's just exposing incredible arrogance, ignorance. So is the American populace. The frogs have been boiled nicely. You were told, you abandoned me. You all turned your, I never quit. I remember I've done Hunter. I says, mark my words, four or five, six years old. They all come out, start trying to grandstand, write books, whatever. After, it's too late, baby. It's too late. Now remember, if I didn't believe the Pacific Ocean would recover and could fight back, you think I would do this? You know I've never said it was going to die all the way. Not one time. I said they're killing her. They're gang raping her. She's freaking being slaughtered. Her children that live inside her. 
the salmon, the salmon have epically collapsed. I mean, the biggest collapse in history. They go to St. C for five years. I said, 2016 a class, you didn't want to listen to me. Everybody abandoned me. Everybody turned their fucking back on me. You know, I think it's outrageous. Central lining my chest, full cancer. The New Yorker and the Columbia Review inside the JFK told me, but we'll talk to him, Kevin, we can't have this conversation about the cancer, it's too hard for it. I mean, that's the fucking disgusting baby boomer generation. You don't want the truth, you can't handle it. It's like organized religion, the spin doctors, you know, all out there. BP Earth Watch, Prophet Paul Bagley, who get everything. Remember they told you to sell your fucking Dow at 7,000, it's 21,000. Oh, it's actually it's fiat currency. <laughs> Click, that, anybody accepts that click fiat. You know, when you get cancer, they'll accept it. They'll take it. They took it mine. I just went click, you know. It's like people still say, oh, you took chemo. <laughs> you don't even know my path. I mean, yeah, I got chemo so hard. Say, it's like Pacific Ocean. It's like, oh, if I didn't believe, I would be dead. I was sent home with hospice. Right there in that room, in that corner room, I sat right there at McQuack D. Right there. This is a dog and pony show. Look, here's what, this is being run, well, it was run by John Holdren. The Obama administration, the good, the GE, Westinghouse, this nuclear energy crime syndicate. Remember Hillary Clinton using the word Westinghouse, Westinghouse in Prague? I was there, you know, where she did later, I was there. You know, I did it, you don't care. You know, you're sitting, feel good spin doctor bullshit. I'm an activist, I'm not you YouTube vlogger. You know, I'm an activist that wins, by the way. That wins, just, if, look, the type of cancer in my body is almost unsurvivable. I mean, there's only a couple of us in the world. <laughs> the fewer the better? Oh, hell yeah. If I didn't believe, I would already be dead. Oh, she's gonna fight back. It's gonna kill you. And I, it's like the, uh, you know, the evangelical community. It's all written in the concert wall studio, what, in East Turkey? On those where those monks wrote all the Bible, wrote all those scripts. I, I kind of consider it like comments off YouTube. They went like this. You know, and there's some powerful ones, do not get me wrong. And Jesus is the great activist, but come on, let's get real. You Usury, buy here, pay here. You know, you're all about usury. That's the opposite of crazy. You know, hairsprayed masquerade party. It's a, you know, up is down, black is white. It's, you know, you're frauds. The whole country's frauds. The whole place is a bunch of phonies from day to one. You think your money's gonna, your money's not gonna save you. You know, like you have any, anyone, your false equity in your styrofoam fucking mansions. It's disturbing, it's disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? This is, you know, new level. These are not new readings. They've been there the whole time, and I've reported them in detail. You just refuse. You know, I've used the art. Look, I've never worried about the art. I've always made the art. I've always, I've always worried about the curator being captured, the museum, the capture. I mean, just like everything else. It's like the universities, Inc. You know, the university, when I taught at it, they've doubled their salaries. I mean, it's a recipe, simply. We reward failure in this country. The derelicts that freaking did this, which is Westinghouse, General Electric, freaking NOAA, you know, all these paid government employees that are paid, you know, the EPA, all of them, they're, they're criminals. They're paid, they got a check to do their job and they didn't do their fucking job. You know, not my job, that's what they all tell you. Oh, really? The National Oceanography and Atmospheric, that's not your fucking job, we're not <laughs> fucking, I mean, the Navy told to stand down, whatever, and Trump, I guess, just gonna go along. I mean, wow, the greatest, event in human history, Fukushima. They send in roll. Who do you think said It's just a dog. It's just looting. Fix it. They can't fucking fix it. They don't know how to fix it. Let's make it up. They've said that over and over. And TEPCO is a fucking patsy. TEPCO's not running this show. The United States Department of Energy, via your money, you're the one, I mean, right hiding in plain sight. So China issues a travel warning. You know, right here, I'm arguing with people. You know, I had this girl I know in her, and she got married. She said, oh, we're going. I said, don't go. And she knows, she watches my videos. She knows me from the old days in Williamsburg, in Brooklyn, clear back in the day. I'm like, don't, do no, she didn't believe. She went over there. She went to the Forbidden City. That's where all the way she's like, oh my God, I wish I would have listened to you. You can smell it. You can taste it in the air, whatever. And I says, you th she says, you think I get cancer? I don't know. How would I know? But, you know, it's like here. I got news, breaking news, fish swim. Breaking news, the Pacific Ocean is not a bathtub. It was here freaking day one. I reported it right to your face in incredible detail. My sources, my intuitive mind, you just pulled back away from me. You turned your fucking back on me. You know? Even when I had cancer, everybody turned their fucking back on me. It's all right. That's okay, because I'm alive. You know? Money, fuck money. Who cares? You know, I need enough money to travel and do what I do. You know, and thank you to the people that have supported me, the very tiny, tiny fucking few. I mean, it matters. 
because I'm a grassrooter because I win. It's like I fucking knocked the fuck out of cancer. I'm like, fuck you, cancer. Fuck you and the fucking people that fucking built your boat you rode in on. Go fuck yourself. That's why I've done it. That's what I do with all of them. The nuclear crime syndicate, which a lot of it, NOAA, EPA, you know, all the players that have gone along with this. Think about the marine biologist departments up and down. They've refused. I mean, you Google dead typos, you get me. I'm not a marine biologist. I guess I am now. Ed Ricketts, Doc Blanche, John Balco. The greatest PhD in human history. You deny me? You turn your fucking back on me? Think about just the comment trolling that goes on to me. The ignorant and fucking just saying, you know, think about if when Jackson was dripping, if somebody could comment on his fucking paintings. You know, I've never worried about the art. I've always been. I go back to that incredible interview with the shop, with the curator from one of the New York publications, when New York had some actually brilliant, you know, art critics. She does the interview with Deschamps, and she says, he says, why do you guys care now? You didn't care about my work for 34 years, which there's a lot of shroud in that because he was the gatekeeper. He was the one, Deschamps himself was blocking Jackson Pollock. That's what they do. They get their establishment like Keldicott, Busby, but you know, these things, they have their spot and they're gonna protect it at all costs and they're gonna attack. They attacked me. I mean, I have the emails to prove that the establishment attacked me when I was in critical condition, you know, with a central line. I mean, everybody in the bone marrow trying something five years ago right now. I mean, they attacked me like wolves. I'm the guy that reporting from San Onofre, the whole new. It's like yesterday, I'm arguing with Energy Solutions and their lawyers. Here's how they play. I'm like, he says, well, we only accept level A waste. I says, that's what you tell everybody. I says, we go out there with guys, you're lying, you're cheating. Well, and then they just jump off. I says, the Santa Ana for gen oh no, that, what, that's not here. And I says, yes it is, the generator's here, you build the truck. You know, I was full of leukemia. We went out there, we have people with Geiger counters, you're lying. Because there's nobody watching. We have government organizations. There's a guy named Russell who's in charge of doing this. They don't do their job. We have no media doing it. I mean, I am the media. I mean, fuck the media, they're a fucking joke. They failed this. It's betrayal. I mean, of course, despite that I was ever born to set this right, I mean, it's been hard for me to accept. You know, I could be back on Wall Street, fucking being a derivative fucking trader. I could just do my own fucking thing, you know, all my money. I mean, there's lots of things I could fucking be doing. Put that hawk and trial back. I mean, my phone rings off of the hook on this fucking stucco damage over there. You know, I'm like, why should I come save you now? And it's the same call all the time. Oh, I'm getting ready to sell it, so come save me. Come give a bid, me a bid. Spend all your fucking money fucking showing up bidding me so I can just kick the can and then not, I mean, fuck you. I'm fucking sick of it. You know, expert witness? I'm the expert witness, please. <laughs> please, right down to the leukemia, right down to the stay. You know, right there in that fucking room. Right there on a Friday fucking, on October, in October, 2011. You'll be dead in two months, Kevin, by myself in that room on a Friday, looking up here at all these houses I stuck up, including Skokelops right here. You know, the United States fucked you. Hillary Clinton said, bring the food on when the rest of the world banned it. Oh, it's fucking, were you testing? With what, with what, a fucking Geiger counter? You can't test fish with a fucking Geiger counter. <laughs> How you testing for fructonium? You don't even know what the fuck it is. It's gamma rays. It's gamma rays from fucking hell. It's un... We don't even know. It killed the top layer. All these animals, you think about, scientists are baffled, they're mystified, they're fucking puzzled. These derelict motherfuckers. It's as obvious as the fucking scar across my face. Real simple. And I said it from day one. It fucking broke the fucking layer. The tiny fucking... Birth of life. The krill. The shrimp. Big fish eat little fish. You know, wells, I mean, right in your face. The greatest collapse, more wells washed up dead on the coast of California than the previous 300 years combined the last two years. The salmon, the biggest epic collapse in here. Remember, they had record not runs on the Bonneville in 2015. Total fucking collapse. Greatest still had collapse. I mean, it's on. You know, starving to death sea lions. I'm at my life. Fuck you. I'll go walk it and prove it to you. Testing fucking sea lions that are shriveled up, starved to death. We, and then they go in there and they've got leukemia. There's only one cause of fucking leukemia. One. One. Nuclear fallout. Period. Period. Well documented. That Nevada test site documentation. I put that right in your fucking face. You want to regurgitate fucking bullshit? Stand fucking on this lie. Go ahead. You want know, to deny it's like organized religion. It's God's will. Okay. Tip shell. Thou mayest. What is the definition of organized religion? Simply generational arrogance. For you know, God helps those who fucking help themselves. Any philosophy is logic rooted in logic. You know the fight TikTok. The Apple clock, clock. So, energy solutions just, they just lie. They just jump over their attorneys. You know, I, I spent a lot of time with them. We found a lot of common ground. I'm like, but you guys lie. 
You bring one in here, nice thing, and there's no, because there's no media, there's no watchdog. America, you know, that's, you know, the populace is fall. Fuck yes, it is. You were told. You know, it's like Jim Walsh. I see him, that dog and pony, and Sanjay Gupta lying all over CNN, lying all over it. They're special expert. You know, pull down the fucking train. I'm the one that got it back. 99% of this shit's out of the net. It was all me from fucking anonymous whippleblowers, from people I fucking know for fucking decades and years. You know, and my fucking work. I exposed all this, and then they just take my work and regurgitate it and re-fucking spin it into their fucking, you know, dogma. It's fucking bullshit is what it is. I'm disgusted. I'll be on disgusted because it affects me. You know, did, did they... Poison me? Put polonium in my tea? I don't know, but I sure got attacked hard. And you know, and I know for a fact, it's been well documented, and fucking that rat snout and hiding in there like a two-bit little bitch he is. He's so fucking pathetically stupid. That's gotta be one of the dumbest men who ever walked. He hands the chip to Lori and says he erased it. They knew they had a mole. Fuck, he's the guy who created the station. He's a treasonous fucking rat, not because what he leaked, because he's the one that did all the work. He was in Japan. He created the State Secrets Act. I know this for a fact. I got NSA whistleblowers. I'll take lie detectors. You know, everybody pulls back on me. Fuck you. You know, now you want to come along? Fuck, I told you. Fucking don't stand tuned at fucking day one. You know, this fucking thing's hammer. Is Tokyo? Huh. We got more hammer. Just removes left to right. You know, the NRC, all of them. These are all derelict criminal fuckers. Obama, John Holdren, fucking the EPA. Gina McCarthy crashes Rednet, makes EPA. Lisa Jackson, I can go on and on. And Trump's going to continue this fucking lie? This is the greatest crime in human history by a billion fucking... And somebody says, oh, we sue... Te sue! I've been screaming my head. What is the punitive damages for killing the Pacific Ocean? She's going to fight back. What's going to do? It's going to kill you. You only know kill. Oh, you got the flu. Fuck whatever. You just drop dead. That's what this does. This is the most aggressive form of leukemia in human history. It's fucking come out of Fukushima. And it's well documented by me. <laughs> fight back, fuckheads. You know, I don't need violence. I fight back with my mind. These fucking derelicts need to be called out. You squash my view count. You go attack me. You fucking regurgitate. You steal my shit. Go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Like the curator. I've never worried about the art. I make the fucking art. I protest. You name it. I've been there protesting. You know, because the YouTube video is mightier than the fucking sword. Or the pen, by the way. So, it's right in fucking plain fights. It's like you people still think Putin's a good guy. You know, I'm going to dedicate a lot of my work to that brilliant, beautiful female journalist that, I mean, they poisoned her, they went after her, then they just said, fuck it. Just fucking blew her head off. I mean, think about that. And you think he's all that. Did he influence it? Oh, fuck, please. I wore my Russian hat. I knew what was going on. I mean, come on. I always fucking know. She's gonna fight back. This is a very fucking sad fucking situation. Very fucking sad. Right there in that fucking room, McQuack D, in that corner room, on a Friday night. I've been in the emergency room all, over and over and over. Send me home. Oh, it's just an infection. I remember one quack fucker told me I had an elevated white count. And then I want people to very much know this. Did I get poisoned in the winter, spring of 2016? I don't know what the fuck. At the Bernie Sanders rally that day. I got even sicker last year. I lost teeth over it. I mean, I'm a healthy motherfucker, too. You know, I've been so militant in fighting back. The doctors, I mean, fuck, you see me hives, rashes all on. It was horrible. I can't believe it. I was, I was just as sick then. And, you know, Mike Lee kicked me on Medicaid. You know, remember I had all that Tesla and Apple fucking derivatives? Remember fucking I'm telling you to buy fucking Apple? Look at the videos. I'm telling you to buy Apple in the fucking 80s. I mean, come on, the derivative, it's fucking pushing a thousand. You guys all sold your fucking Dow. <laughs> Sold it at 7,000. You bought gold at 1,900. I'm saying short gold. I have videos to prove it. Short gold at 1,900. I have videos shorting silver 47 in the triple fucking ETF leverage. I have fucking videos all over by Tesla. I have videos all over by fucking the Apple derivative. The fucking 480s. It's at 900. Those $12 fucking derivatives that I was telling you to buy, fuck, they're worth fucking $20,000 a piece. They cost 15. But I had to fork it all over my money to get in there. I was uninsured, but I got in. You know, my uncle, Thomas, saved me from the grave right there. The guy who started Ogden Click, the guy who invented bypass surgery. I mean, him. Don't let him open you, Kevin, unless you're going to die. You know, Vincent, if it wasn't for Vincent, his ex-partner right in there, he overrode, they opsied me. They should have never went in me. They put it in the right, they fucked me up so hard. It wasn't, he knew me. He says, Kevin, I know you sent your boy. He lives right over here. Fuck, I've done plaster on all their fucking horns, you know, because I was a stuck, because I'm a hands-on guy. You know, and I never switched to the fake shit. I've always stood my ground on integrity. 
from day one. But look what we're up against, this tsunami of corruption. This country's so fucking corrupt, fucking from A to fucking Z. And the top of the fucking pyramid is the Fukushima fucking cover-up. This dog is showing you on the robots. This thing's so fucking hot, and it's always been this fucking hot. It's killed millions of people, millions of people, and you're so fucking stupid. Think about the fucking morons that go along with it. Karma's a motherfucker, you know? Fight or die, fuckheads. You know? Doctor after doctor in that fucking room. There's a Japanese doctor I ever find out. I'll drop that motherfucker like a bag of fucking dirt. I told my attorney, I'll do the time first. Fucking piece of shit. What he did to me. Oh, there's nothing wrong with you. He sent me home. Passed out on the fuck. I mean, I don't know how I'm alive. I honestly don't know how I'm alive. That fucking malpractice and fuck. They finally went into my hip right there. Right there, Vincent finally dug into my hip. They fucking go in for their flat part and they hook bone marrow out. The spirit, you know, he's like, he did a lot of work. Silverman up here, that asshole, fucking lied to me. I just, the pathologist had her dead wrong. You know, she never even went in that tumor. You know, I go to the top of LDS from Danish philosophy, Fimbo, and that group of doctors. They believed in me. Brian Morris, you know, it happened to him. They believed in me. And they fought for me. And those nurses, those Weber State freaking slick nurses, you know, there was people that cared about me. You know, very, very few gave a fuck about me and gave a fuck and didn't turn their back on me and didn't fucking betray me. I've been betrayed all over the internet. Fuck you, think about the trolls and the rats in the videos that still exist out there. How's that even possible, these scumbags? Think about them trying to tee me up in Canada. I've been trying to tee up by everybody. You think about these fucking grandstanders, these bandwagon fucking juffers, these fuckers and what they've done to me. Disgusting. Fucking stand tuned.